A Coral Gables police officer is out of a job for now after being indicted by a grand jury in New York. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray is live in Coral Gables with what we know about the case. Joan? Well, Elliot, these are just stunning allegations. You have to remember that this officer and detective has been with this department more than half of his life. He is well respected. He is well known. And we are told now he will be surrendering on these charges on Monday. With a black belt in jiu-jitsu, longtime Coral Gables police officer Eddie Pagan runs GEM Solutions. It's a defense training program for the public and police. Here he is giving a demonstration. If he's putting pressure down, just pressure down, on his head, it's going to be very hard for Gian to move. And then I can work my, my knee slide, my arm extractions, whatever I want to do. But Pagan now finds himself on the wrong side of the law. A New York federal grand jury has indicted him on perjury charges stemming from defense testimony he gave at the trials of these two men, former Miami Drug Enforcement officers John Costanza Jr. and Manny Reccio, who were convicted of leaking confidential information to defense attorneys. Prosecutors say jeopardize drug cases and the lives of drug informants. Sometimes, as an officer, you have to guide people. Pagan is not commenting on the charges. According to his resume, he's been with the Coral Gables Police Department for 27 years. He's worked with the Drug Enforcement Administration and the South Florida Money Laundering Task Force. For now, he is off the force. In a letter from the police chief, he says Officer Pagan was relieved of his duties as a police officer without pay pending an internal affairs investigation and the conclusion of the pending charges in New York. Now, we did reach out to the Fraternal Order of Police, the union representing the officers here. We did not hear back. His attorney did not want to comment, but did confirm that began will surrender Monday in New York, and that is when this indictment will be unsealed. So we should learn a lot more on Monday. Reporting in Coral Gables tonight, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.